knew that you go right or you go left was probably the best go, and I was kind of 20th, so I tried to run in, you know, far right, and I started swimming, and I looked over, and girls are still running. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's not good, but it was nice to not have a non-wetsuit swim, you know, I felt like I could catch back up a bit, and, um, and so we did so, and... And then coming out of the water, we had a nice little pack of, I'm not sure how many now, but maybe eight or so. And, you know, it was kind of a, um, Sarah and I had to be in the top nine, so it was kind of important that we all work together and then we fight it out at the end. And um, we did so, you know, the girls worked pretty well together on the bike. And, and um, Sarah and I were definitely trying to do the most we could to, you know, just stay in front and you know, we got a two minute lead or something. And, and it was nice. And, the run was kind of hard. It was, <laughs> it's tough to be out in the front or, you know, or whatever. There's not a lot of people around to pull you around and stuff, but it was good. It was solid, and I'm pretty pleased with my performance. Was there any communication on the bike? Thanks a lot. Uh, there, not, not, not much communication. I mean, some, you know, some, you try to wave each other through every now and again, but, you know, the girls were pretty good about taking their pull when they were supposed to, and, yeah, I mean... It's at everybody's advantage to try to get away, you know. There's a lot of people in a second pack that can just be sitting in and, and not doing much work on the bike and they can run a lot quicker. You know, it's just, it's a it's a game of, um, of well, yeah, just tactics, you know. Like, you do more work on the bike, you're going to have a worse run. So, but if you get the time if that's worth it on the bike, then you can still have a solid run and, and perform. So, yeah. It's a game. This is a game. <laughs> what was it like out there dueling with a former Olympic teammate? I know. The final spot. It really stinks to have Sarah not be on the team. You know, she's such an asset. She's a phenomenal athlete, and um, I wish we could take four. You know, I think I think the two girls, Sarah and, and Gwen, that are already on the team, are, are phenomenal athletes as well. You know, and you wouldn't want to see one of them miss out. But um, you know, Haskins would be a, a, a great asset. So yeah, I just wish we could take four. And it's it's tough to have it just. Her and I going head to head on the final day. Um, I have a lot of respect for Sarah, so it's tough. And we're good friends, so it's it's even worse. <laughs> so have you had time to think about the plan from here, leading into London? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, we'll go back and see what I'm missing, and you know, the girls at the top right now are performing like Helen and and Erin, and you know, you even have Nicholas Berg, and you know, there's a lot of girls that weren't here today that that are performing really well. You know what they're doing, and you know what you have to do, so. <laughs> You know, you just figure out what's the best way for me to get to the same to the same point. You know, like it's not necessarily you know, they're all running fast. You run faster. You know, it's it, for me, it's a lot of strength and endurance too that I need. So, yeah, we'll go back and have a look at it. But today was a good start to figure out what I need. All right, congratulations. Thanks, guys. Were you too? Were you aware that Sarah had pulled up right on the run in the, in the first part of the run, right behind you? No, I didn't. I didn't know. I, you know, I just tried to run my own run and, and see where that got me. And try not to blow myself up or whatever. You know, try, try to still be smart about it. And and um, and um, yeah, I, I didn't know what it was going to look like really. <laughs> I had cramps, and I'm not even sure if they were from where what. Where <laughs> did you, you cramp? When? Where? Uh, just in the whole run. Right I just kind of felt crampy run. and stuff. From so. the center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was fine. You know, I could still run properly and, and things like that. It was just, it was. What percentage would you say you of the eight, you and uh, Sarah of the eight pulled the, the lead pack on the bike? Well, I think the first couple of laps, um, Flora and. and uh, Flora. And Hills were doing a lot of work, you know, and then it's kind of like when it's a little bit technical, it's tough to Trading either have to jam around each other or if you want to be, you know, just keep it smooth, you got to kind of wait for the next corner right. or wait till the straight. So sometimes you kind of get stuck before you can yeah. um, really take a pull and, and, and try to do it smart. But um, yeah, you know, the group worked pretty well together. So yeah, there was no complaints, you know, we got two minutes or something. And do that's you enough. have any idea when you left? Sarah behind on the run. I don't know. I didn't look Zero. back. I didn't want to look back. <laughs> I want to know and think. Like Satchel Paige said. Yeah, yeah. You just focus on yourself and, and try to get the job done. You were a second alternate, first alternate, made the team, and now in your fourth timeout, you made another team. What does all this crazy Olympic stuff mean to you? It's awesome, Tim. You know, I think, you know, it's great. The sport now has so many options. You know, you've got the ITU, non-drafting, 70.3, and Ironman, and 
you can go where your talent lies, and I really believe this is my talent, you know, and so I just want to exploit it to the most I can, and that's why it was important for me to try to make another Olympic team, you know, I felt like I did I did good in Beijing, but I, I would like to do better. Because you weren't as healthy as you might have yeah, been. Yeah, exactly, but you know, that's the thing, that's like, part of it. the pressure racing, you know, you try to do your plan, and if you pull up injured, you've done something wrong, and your plan was wrong, so I'd like to make my plan right this time and, and perform on the day. Do you feel more relief or exultation? Um, I think a little relief, you know, and missing it in London, I I don't know what happened there, so it kind of threw me for a loop, for a loop and, but there was a lot of things I changed because I didn't make the team, so I do think it was a blessing in disguise, and I think it gave me the opportunity to have the courage to, to do different things and, and make me a better athlete. A, a little bird told me that you did a really big base train. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, you know, I was saying, I was saying to the other guys that I got sometimes things just kind of fall into place, you know, like Greg Greg's decided to do Kona this year and he had to do Melbourne to get there and it was, you know, we're, we're such a great team anyway, but it gave me the opportunity to train with him and his long course training was my short training yeah. on the bike and so he's he made me a better cyclist this summer without even trying and he just let me sit on his wheel, you know, for most of the summer and we have a great group down in Noosa, you know, with Belinda Granger, Marinda, yeah. we had a great group down there this, this year and and um, so I got to train with those guys a bit and, and just improve my bike enough where now I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm not being hindered by it. So it was nice. It was nice. It's, I got a great support group around me. I couldn't, couldn't ask for better people. Happy days are here again. So, so, so Sorry, with a run like gonna... that, how, how often in college were the uh, cross-country coaches begging you to run? Yeah, right. <laughs> Do they ever ask? Well. Do they know? Right. Once I once I was I guess once I became a swimmer I I put on so much weight and I just bulked up so much that I don't think they were looking for me. <laughs> what, what were your events? Um, hundred and two hundred fly. Oh. <laughs> I know. So you weren't Not quite fifteen hundred meters so. Yeah, no. So how much running were you even doing? Oh, none. Like I I pretty much after the first year, but after my freshman year I. Um, I did do triathlons that summer, but mm -hmm. I came back so skinny that they were like, you, you're going to have to, you're no more triathlon if you're going to swim. And and I think I, I picked up a, sco a spo or the, um, scholarship that sophomore year. So he's like, if you want a scholarship, you don't do triathlon, you just swim. And wow. then I bulked up and <laughs> I was a 200 flyer by the end of my career. When you bulked so, up, I mean, how much weight were we talking? Like 20 pounds. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> from now. Too many Oreos. Too many Oreos. Yeah, I mean, my diet like, was pretty bad. Like that Dexter thing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, people look at this and, you know, Sarah ran in, in college, you swam. I know. And here we are kind of at the, the table. I know. Where, where, where did this running come from inside you? I mean, well, I was actually a better runner than a swimmer going into college. Really? Yeah, and I thought, well, I want to swim. Back then, the lifespan of a swimmer was only three to four years in college. And so I, I thought, well, I can be a runner the rest of my life, so I might as well see what I can do with the swim. And so I focused on the swimming for three to four years, and yeah, I got my swim to the level that it, I mean, compared to the swimmers, I was not a great swimmer, but you come back to triathlon and, and you are. So um, yeah, and so then I've just been working on my run over the years, and yeah, I think that's probably more my, my pedigree. And, more bulking up to be a better swimmer back then. Last thing, you, I mean, you know what it feels like for Sarah. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's terrible. Friend. I know she's but, a good I mean, friend. I, I know. I like I said before. She you knows she'd be a great asset to have on this Olympic team, and it's disappointing that we can't take four. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah, and she's a good friend, and I yeah. hate that it had to come down to her and I. You know, a head-to-head -head kind of thing, as well as a top nine. You know, but um, yeah, it's it's tough. How, how good friends are you when you say you're friends? And you talk all the time, or you uh, probably don't talk all the time. Oh, probably don't talk all the time, but you know, it, we don't really live close together, and there's a, you know, we're about seven years apart, I think. Anyway, so. Right. But I but thought you were the first person to go kind of console her after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah, I would consider her a friend, and we just, yeah, we just don't see each other that much, and right. that's probably why we don't catch up more often. But yeah, but you know I really feeling. like her. Yeah. Absolutely, I've had that plenty of times. <laughs> Definitely. And yeah, I mean Yeah. Thank you. Thanks guys. Thank you.